My major research interest is human speech communication. So anywhere that I have people talking to each other or maybe talking to a computer, I'm in there trying to fix, augment or somehow enhance that experience. So applications such as biometrics, audiovisual speech recognition or conversation analysis, all of these things are areas of interest for me. I was never one of these kids who was always interested in engineering. I definitely had a strong like for maths in school. I liked science. I liked understanding how or why things are so. And I did consider studying maths for a while, but what attracted me more about engineering was the fact that you could apply it to things, that you could solve problems. You didn't just get to understand how things worked, but you could change things. You could make new things from that understanding. Then as an undergraduate, I discovered signal processing and the fact that I could use that to understand a signal like speech really resonated with me. It wasn't just maths, it was actually understanding something so basic to humans as talking to each other. I've realised that speech is very much a multimodal signal. 70% of speech is non-verbal and we communicate a massive amount through our head nods, our gestures, our facial expression. For me as an engineer to understand speech, I had to understand all of that as well. So now in the way I treat speech, it's not just something that I hear, it's something that I see as well. And my research has extended to the point where I not just work with engineers and computer scientists, but I work with psychologists, linguists, to really understand that whole interaction process. So at the moment we're actually looking at the difference between conversations that take place in a classroom when we're teaching and the kind of conversations that happen online when you're having a classroom, maybe over Zoom or Teams. You know, what attracts me about electronic engineering is that, yes, it's really, really mathematical, it's very logical, it's very absolute, but I can translate all of that into something really messy, really every day, but really essential to human interaction. And I think that's the thing about electronic engineering in general, that it's hidden in so much of what we do every day. It's not just electronic devices and circuits and you know dealing with electricity. It's dealing with information, speech, video, communications, all that information that we rely on these days. Maybe that's why it's so hard to explain to people what it actually is, because it pervades everything. So when I look back to my teenage self wondering about engineering, I think if I was to speak to myself, I'd try and reassure myself that engineering is much, much broader than anybody realizes at that age. I would tell myself to have faith that, you know, I like maths, I like science, I like understanding things. I want to apply that to make a different world, make a better world. There's a branch of engineering for you then.